Welcome again to Ancient Tales for Today. As you remember, we're going through a very old book. Many, many stories. In fact, we will have more than 300 stories. We all like stories, and these are very old stories, and we can always learn something. Okay, so today is lesson number 13. Now, before we get to lesson number 13, we've got to remember one thing. What has happened? In our last lesson, we talked about wiped out. The whole world was wiped out. There was a flood, Hong Shui, and it covered the whole earth. Okay, and these are examples to us. Something we should learn from. So today we're going to talk about a rainbow, Tai Hong. So stay by for another interesting story from the ancient tales. Story number 13, Rainbow of Promise. We all need hope for the future especially if we've experienced bad times in the present. When you have really bad times, what you most want to know is that it won't happen again. For example, if you go to your friend's house and his dog bites you, next time you visit, you tell your friend to have his dog tied up so that you won't be bitten again. We have a saying, once bitten, twice shy which means if you have been bitten once, you are even more scared of getting bitten again. The ancient tales tell of a terrifying great flood. Afterwards, what do the survivors want to know? Is it going to happen again? Remember, it was because almost everybody followed evil ways that the flood came in the first place. It was because nobody wanted to do good. All they thought about was doing more evil things all the time. That's why their end came and the flood covered the earth. As the few survivors looked out at a very muddy world, they wondered if this was the way things would be from now on. But the Creator tells them this won't ever happen again. We all know that, quotes, words are cheap. It's easy to say something. We prefer to have some kind of guarantee, a promise. So the survivors were given a promise. If you are worried when it starts raining, look for the rainbow. The rainbow was a sign given to human beings so that they could be sure of the promise that Never again would the world be destroyed by a flood. Do you always keep your promises? I know sometimes I don't, for all kinds of reasons. But the rainbow of promise is guaranteed because it's the Creator who made that promise. We can all be happy because He always keeps His promises. Okay, we're back and we're going to look at the rainbow of promise. Rainbow, have you ever seen a rainbow? Tsai Hong. Uh, I've seen many rainbows because where I live in the United States, it rains a lot. Of course, if it rains, then you have sometimes you have rainbows. But this is an interesting one because this is called the rainbow of promise, Ying Xu de Cai Hong. Now, we all need hope for the future. 
Okay. Do you know what's going to happen in the future? This Of course, we don't know. But one thing we need to know is that there is hope. So our first sentence said, we all need hope for the future, especially if we're experiencing bad things at the present time. If you are experiencing, 如果你正在经历, okay, some bad things at this time, at the present time, 就是在这时候你经历的坏事情, then we all need hope, especially you and me. When you have really bad times, to have bad times, means to experience bad times. What you most want to know is that it won't happen again. What you most want to know is that it will not happen again. See, that's what you really want to know. One, we often say one time is enough, no more. Okay? For example, Pirusho, if you go to your friend's house, okay, you go to your friend's house, and his dog bites you, Tadako Yaoni, okay? Okay, so his dog bites you. The next time you visit, his house, you tell your friend to have his dog tied up. So you ask your friend, or you tell your friend to tie up Bang Hao need to go. Okay? So you won't be bitten again. Nayang ni buhei zai bei yao. Okay, or Okay, going on. We have a saying in English uh, once bitten, twice shy. Okay, in this case, once bitten, that means beiao yi zi. Okay, twice shy. Now this is very interesting because shy, 一般说来是害羞, okay, timid, shy, okay. But here it means 更加, twice, okay. Shy means 更加害怕, okay, so. Shy maybe is a way of saying fearful, afraid, okay? Which means that if, if you have been bitten once, bitten once, you are more scared. Scared, okay? Scared is haipa, okay? Of being bitten again. Now, the ancient tales tell of a terrifying uh, great flood. Remember, yesterday we talked about, uh, or last time, Da Hong Shui. Okay? Now, this is a terrifying, what does that mean? Ke Pa Da Hong Shui. Afterwards, Zhi Ho. What do the survivors want to know? Now, 幸存者, okay, these are the people that lived beyond the flood. How many was there? Do you remember? There were just, that's right, eight. That's all there was left. Those were the people that got on the boat. Now, the question is, what did the survivors want to know? 
The question they were probably asking themselves is, is it going to happen again? Okay, remember, it was because almost everybody followed evil ways, okay? Almost everybody, well, almost everybody means everybody but the eight people, of course. Almost everybody followed evil ways, the 跟从邪恶的道路, okay? That the flood came in the first place. 就是因为这样,这个大洪水就来到. It was because nobody wanted to do good. 没有人想要行善, nobody, so in way, nobody wanted to, to do good, Xing San. Okay, do you want to do good? Of course. You want to do good and so do I. Okay, going on. Uh, going on. All they thought about was doing more evil things. Taman. 总是, thinking about doing bad things, 邪恶的事情, 坏事情, evil things, all the time. So they were thinking all the time about these, what could they do that's bad. That's why their end came. That's why it came down to a point and then their end, their finished, came. And the flood covered the earth. Covered, fu gai shi jie. The flood covered everything, and everybody on the earth, and the animals too, died. Only those in the boat lived, and there were a lot of animals in the boat Two. Now, we'll come back and talk more, but we're going to take a little break, and in just a moment, we'll be back. Let's turn now to some light on our path. Uh, Lena, I'd like for us to look at Psalms 103. And then a few verses, 8, 11, 12, 13. 我们读第八节, okay, the English says the Lord is compassionate and gracious, slow to anger, abounding in love. He will not always accuse. Actually, we'll skip number 9 and 10. 11 says, For as high as the heavens are above the earth, so great is his love for those who fear him. As far as the east from the west, so far has he removed our transgressions from us. As a father has compassion on his children, so the Lord has compassion on those who fear him. 哇,這幾節經文太好了,我好喜歡。他叫我们的过犯离我们也有多远。父亲怎样连续他的儿女,耶和华也怎样连续敬畏他的人。Wow, that's a wonderful promise, uh, Lena. 是的,非常好的经文。Actually, we find all the way through the Bible, many promises like this, that even though Sometimes God has to discipline us. Mm. Uh, uh, nevertheless, He still loves us. 
。但是我有一个问题，对于上帝，我们是知道他、了解他，我们可以信任他。如果是在我们身边的人，我们怎么知道他是不是一个守诺言的人呢 ？Very difficult, very difficult. The only way is to learn to trust them. 好，学习信任他。Okay, let's now look at the second half. As the few survivors, as these few survivors looked out of the boat, so they're looking out of the boat、uh, at a very muddy world. Muddy. I think、uh, a muddy world is something that mothers don't like because their children children love to play in the mud. 他们所看的是泥泞的世界 okay? They were looking out there at a very 很泥泞的世界 They wondered. 他们的思想，他们的想到 ，they wondered why their end came. Wondered if this was the way things would be from now on. If they wonder, what? Well, is it going to be like this? I mean, you look out there and all you see is mud. 这个泥巴，泥泞的世界。You say, "Whoa! I don't want to get off the boat." Of course, they didn't want to get off the boat, so they wondered, "Is it going to be like this forever and ever?" But the Creator tells them this won't ever happen again. They got Chuang Zhao Zhu, the God they could not see. Kambodadashan. That God said that this Hongshui, this kind of flood, big flood, would never happen again. It won't ever happen again. Now, we all know that words are cheap. 光说话是没用，光说话是没有用的。Okay, words are cheap. Of course, cheap means 便宜 but it also means that it's no use. In this place, it's of course 没用啊，光说话是没用的。It is easy to say something. We prefer to have some kind of guarantee. Do you like a guarantee? When I buy something, I like a 保证 I like a guarantee.、Uh, of course, I like a promise. 应许也也是不错 But there's a problem with promises going on. So the survivors were given a promise. Okay, 这个幸存者 they were given a promise.、Uh, and here is the promise. 一个诺言 Okay, 诺言 If you are worried when it starts raining, look for the rainbow. Every time you see rain, 当下雨的时候 and you are worried, 很担心 then look for the rain rainbow. 要寻找这个彩虹啊 Why? The rainbow was given as a sign to human beings. 是一种标志 A sign, something that they could look at and understand, so they could be sure. 肯定这个承诺是对了 
okay? And a flood. It would never happen again. And the world would not be destroyed by a flood. You see, they were afraid that this would happen again. Maybe many of their friends died in the flood. I'm sure that that was true, okay? But the question I have today is, uh, do you keep your promises? Okay, 你是不是这个持守你的诺言? Okay, do you keep your promises? There are lots of excuses why people don't keep their promises. Okay? Uh, people who don't keep their so Taman da Noyen, Taman, many people have excuses. They have excuses. Usually they're selfish excuses for some reason. Uh, 这个一般说来, we say the, their excuses are selfish. 这个很自私的借口. Going on. Nowadays, I make less promises. That's true. Maybe, maybe you're used to making a promise and promise. Today, well, I mean, at this age in my life, nowadays, Xian Dai, I make less promises. I don't promise so many things. Because, in way, Wei Shema, I plan on keeping them. Whatever promise I make, I want to. I want to keep my promises. So I make less promises to make sure, okay, or to avoid uh, having to break my promises. And the rainbow of promise is guaranteed. God said, I'm going to put my bow in the sky. I'm going to put my rainbow, Tsai Hong, up in the sky. And you know who made that promise? Because it's the Creator who made the promise. Chuang Zhao Zhu Shi Zuo Jiga Cheng Nuo. He is the one who has made the promise. We can all be happy because God always keeps His promises. At least this is my experience. I am happy because God always keeps Ta Tada Noyen. So there you have it. Keeping promises. God always keeps his promises. You want to join us uh, a little bit later because we're going to come back for one more sesh part here. Survivors. 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 It's hard to say the V in Chinese. Survivors. Oh, this what, Survivors. What, what does it mean? Uh, okay, another word here that we studied in today's lesson was muddy. The muddy world. What is uh, muddy? Okay. And sometimes, sometimes when my children go outside to play, mm. they like to play in the mud. 
。对对对，就是玩得很脏啊，一身都是泥土啊。Yeah, so we say, "Oh, you're too muddy." Oh, 这样子。Okay, and then we come to another one. Guarantee. What is a guarantee? 保证 Guarantee. Yeah, we have a guarantee from God. Okay, let's go on now to the conclusion. Okay, now we come down to the end of our lesson. We've been looking at a very old book, and this very old book talks about a time when there was a flood. Okay, 大洪水 and everybody was wiped out,、uh, and the people who survived. 这个幸存者 They had only one thing in their mind: Will it happen again? You know. So this is what they were worried about. Tommen da Danshin. This is what they worried about: Will it happen again? So God made a promise. The Creator, 创造这个世界 He made a promise. He said. I am going to put my bow in the sky, Tai Hong, in the sky, and this is my promise to you that you'll never have to worry about、uh, 大洪水 again. Okay, and the lesson that I learned from this, of course, is God always keeps His promises. And I want to always keep 持守我自己的诺言 Of course, I always want to keep my promises. Okay, our next story is an interesting story about a city. A city 混乱之城啊 Is there such a city? You'll want to join us next time. For another interesting story from the ancient tales. That's all for today, and thanks for watching. If you like ancient tales for today, please visit atft.chinesehope.tv. You may also contact us by writing to ancienttalesfortoday@gmail.com. Again, that's ancienttalesfortoday@gmail.com. Tell your friends about ancient tales for today. See you next time.